My friends from Cambridge came back home with me during the Christmas break of my final year. <laughs> for a couple of them, it was their first time outside Europe. And for most, their first time to Singapore. This was a trip that's been in the works for nearly 10 months, finally happening. Before university, I'd dreamt of these incredible people I would meet and friends that I would make for life at Cambridge. The combination of homesickness and a global pandemic in my first year made it difficult to imagine this dream ever becoming a reality. <laughs> I got close to many of these people only in my second year, later than I expected. Hi guys! But it really taught me that sometimes good things take time and not to rush the timing of life. My friends stayed in my home in Singapore with my family. I got to show them all the places I grew up in and introduce them to the people that raised me. <laughs> Singapore was the only physical space I used to call home before I met my Cambridge friends, till I found an emotional home in their company, no longer bound to physical spaces. Are you necessary? M's asking, is this really necessary? <laughs> M's, you'll know once you open that box, the pungent smell. <laughs> okay, all gloved up and ready? Okay, one seat per person. It's just it's just the bad pungency of the smell. Okay. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Yeah, go for it guys. Do you see why there are special fines for bringing durians on public transport? My different meanings of home collided in the most beautiful and surreal way imaginable. I'm still pinching myself that this happened, that I made the loveliest friends who agreed to come across the world to a little red dot that I call home. <laughs> <laughs>